And welcome back to What You Cooking Fast Forward. Now you can see that we're holding on to our national flag of Singapore. Yeah. And of course, this is National Day weekend. It is. Amazing, isn't it? Congratulations. So, so before we start the show, oh, yeah. I'm going to put you to the test. Oh, are you? <laughs> You've been in Singapore for how many years? About four and a half now. So what is the uh, most iconic structure of Singapore? What do you see by the river of Singapore? What's the icon of Singapore besides the orchid flowers? Are you talking about Marina Bay Sands? Yeah, by the uh, Singapore River. What do you see? The lion. Yeah. The what, li what kind of lion? What kind of lion is that? Mer lion. It's a mer lion. Absolutely correct. So I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Bing! How many me. <laughs> official mer lions are there in Singapore? Um, I think there's five. Oh, he knows. Absolutely Two correct. For me. Wow, I wanted to sabotage him. No chance, no. All right, then I will <laughs> ask you, where can you find the Merlions then? Well, there's one by the river. Mm -hmm. And there's four around, around Singapore. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's called answering without answering the correct answer. Well, because yeah. the official biggest mer lion in Santosa has been moved. Oh, yes. Yeah, right? I climbed that once. Yeah, yeah. I went yeah. up there too. So, yeah. amazing. Oh, well, those of you who didn't get a chance, don't worry. Yeah. We'll tell you when it moved to. Lah. Maybe my house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, you know, today is all about National Day yeah. celebration. It's very special, eh? What are you looking forward to when it comes to this National Day weekend? Have what am I looking forward yeah. to? Well, I don't know. It's a good question. Have I'm you been to any of the parades? Actually, I was really lucky in my first year. I was um, given a ticket to one of the, oh. what do you call it? Not the actual day, but yeah, one of the practice the pre, ones. Uh, yeah, the when, it, when it was held in the stadium, in the national stadium. Wow. And it was really an extravaganza. Singapore really knows how to put on a show. Very enjoyable. That's yeah. right. Oh, what am I looking forward to? I love it. Um, I love the I love jets, aircraft, anything oh, loud and fast. Uh, the flyovers. Yeah, so I'll be like looking at the sky all day. So yeah. this year, I think we're going to enjoy this uh, from home. We're going to have them, some live features. Yeah. Some, I think we have a pledge happening this weekend together yes. uh, with all Singaporeans. Yep. So look out for that one. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, well, while we have our flags in hand, mm. uh, Dr. Rico is back. And today, we're going to introduce a new addition to the family. Yeah, we are. We've got a new addition to the family. Yes. Olivia Wong, yeah. sport dietitian, and now sport dietitian at dun, the dun, Singapore dun. Sport Institute. Uh, here she comes. Look, right, let's invite Olivia. Yeah. Hi, thanks our for having me on the show. Our <laughs> Singapore girl. Huh? You know why? Because you look like as stewardess when you come. Oh. <laughs> nice boys, everything like that. Uh -huh. yeah. How long have you been with the uh, SSI? Oh, this is my second week. So, um, very new. Very, very new, new to SSI. Yeah. Nervous to yeah. come to the show? It's my first time doing this. Uh, but very excited because I think we have uh, a spread today. Yeah. All right. I'm going to yeah. collect the flags over here because okay. we're going to start... You know, cooking. I'm going to plong this at the back area so that we get to celebrate. Thank you so much. And uh, I told her it's a very unserious show. Yeah, there's no. And, yeah, you know, on on the road. It's hard to okay. be serious around you. <laughs> isn't it? I'm quite serious. Okay. So I'm in red and white today because it is our national day weekend. Right. And of course, uh, look at the glow on your face. You're also red and white, lah. <laughs> oh, and Rico is also red and white, lah. Mm. Red My shoe is a white, white words. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Iron huh? Man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been in the Iron Man relay or something? I did. I did the Iron Man back in 2013 mm -hmm. uh, in New Zealand. Yeah, wow. I was a little smaller back then. <laughs> yeah, but it was still a big day at the office. Yeah, so you're yeah. buffed up right now. But uh, yeah, it was fun. So Olivia, have you seen Rico in action? No, not yet. Okay, so yeah. give the uh, viewers <laughs> right here a chance to take a look at Dr. Rico on this so. Iron Man challenges. Let's go. You know, um, there's one there, me coming out of the water, and I just about <laughs> fell over because I was in the water for about an hour, 20 minutes swimming. Oh, really? And you stand up and you're quite dizzy. You've yeah, got to yeah, get your yeah. balance, blood pressure and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a regular sports person? Um, depends on what. What's what? your favorite sport? Watching I TV? Do, uh, <laughs> That's mine, that's no, mine. I used to, I used to, uh, I used to play the netball. Um, oh. I used to run quite a bit as well. So, um, yeah, that's what I do um, on a regular basis. But right now, I, you know, I just pretty much just go jogging on my own and oh. high intensity as well. Work oh, out, no yeah. wonder she's yeah. so lean, right? Beside her, we are like a perfect ten, one and zero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so uh, I don't have to ask you whether in the kitchen your dietitian so is going to be something that you are going to be doing regularly yep. besides advising the athletes of Singapore. All right, absolutely. Uh, you're going to have a chance to impart skills to our viewers right over here with fast forward. So, uh, Rico, what is the theme for today? Well, the theme's got to be red and white, doesn't it? Oh, red and white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we're, we're going with red foods and white foods, and we're going to start off with a red and white combination, a, a really nice, delicate little dessert. It's so healthy you can have it for, for breakfast. Um, and, you know, nothing really, say, celebrate more than something that's homemade, made by your own hands. Mm. We're going to make our own ricotta cheese today. Oh, ricotta yeah. cheese. Oh, and we're we gonna talked make about it, it uh, about a few episodes ago, right? Yeah, we did. And yeah. we're going to bring it on for this National Day episode because this is home, <laughs> truly. <laughs> Are you going to sing Majula Singapura for us? No, no, that one is, uh, I, I can't sing wrongly on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she will sing later. La. Oh, oh, okay, sure so are you familiar with the recipe that Rico is uh, doing today or is it a surprise to you? Um, I, I, I know a little bit. I mean, just based on looking at the ingredients. The ingredients. Okay, yeah, so what do we have here? This is a cup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's empty. This is Ben's weekly quiz. He goes through and... Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, this so is macadamia? Um, macadamia or nuts, yeah. macadamia, right? Ma the macadamia oh, nuts. Oh, the chestnuts. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Ma macadamia nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we got macadamia. What's macadamia good for? Oh, really rich in, in monounsaturated oils. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, and they have a r lovely crunch to them. Yeah, they're really uh, quite more. So this Moorish. is going to be like a desserty style kind of breakfast flavor, right? Yeah. yeah. This is raspberries. What's it good for? Um, a lot of antioxidants. Yeah. Mm. Vitamins. Yeah. yeah. So it's great. So it's if great. I want to have smooth skin like Olivia, I must <laughs> eat more raspberries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a bit aged recently. Are you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because Are you so sleeping? No. <laughs> 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 All right. So for the white, we have muck. This <laughs> is a bottle of. Um, what are you asking me for? I'm reading really the read the label. Oh. Kiwi vinegar. Kiwi vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. This is a beautiful. Actually, this is a beautiful. Um, oh really? We can taste it. This is a beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful sweet one. It feels um, like Daddy giving me a breakfast booster. <laughs> ready? <laughs> ready? Really? Yeah, we go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh I, okay, it's a wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> I that's thought it's gonna be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's better than coffee. <laughs> the camera okay, guy's so quite <laughs> shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so that was. Really vinegar. <laughs> it tastes yeah. like vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's actually my first time um, seeing kiwi vinegar. Actually. Yeah, we see apple yeah. vinegar. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Apple cider <laughs> vinegar. Sorry, it's a watering. <laughs> um, it's quite sour. Okay. Uh, I don't really take lemon. It's going to do a special <laughs> job for us, though. So, what does um, it do? Is, is it, is it, is it, don't they always say that when you have vinegar in the morning, it helps to lift up your metabolism. It's, it's a good way to. Some, some lose people weight, talk about it, yeah being good for your lipid metabolism mm -hmm. and, and your metabolism. Today we're going to use it because it's very <laughs> very. <laughs> oh, I, know I can't even talk now. I it's very acidic, right? And <laughs> we're going to add that to our milk to split the milk because we're going to make curds and whey today. Yes. Okay, so um, we're going to dive into the recipe for today. Okay. Uh, so I'm just curious, what's the first step for, for now? First step, all we need to do is heat some milk up. This Not is so milk. easy. This is like a, a food chemistry lesson, but it comes together really quickly. Uh -huh. uh, and the end result is just like, wow, you made that with your own hands. Yeah, so we just got to heat up some milk in a pot. Okay. okay. Um, Olivia, shall we pour two cups of milk into the pot? Yep, sounds yeah, good. Right. Yeah. We don't want to boil the milk. We want to get it to about 80 degrees. Okay, so two, two cups, cups of, of yeah. milk. So we, we don't want to boil this. We want to bring it to about 80 degrees. You know it's there when it starts to steam. Mm -hmm. okay. And you'll get um, bubbles around the outside of the pot, All around right. the rim of the milk. Fantastic. Yeah, and when we get to that point, we're going to add this beautiful vinegar that you so enjoyed. It's really beautiful. Mm. And the acidity is going to denature the protein, which means that the, all the proteins, they freak out like you just did, right? And, oh, they, yeah. and they all go, wah! And they all <laughs> unravel. <laughs> just run away, right? Yeah, and that separates the curd or the casein from the whey protein. Because Ooh. in milk, you have two different types of proteins. You have whey protein, which is absorbed really quickly, and we take that, say, after exercise to mm -hmm. stimulate um, lean muscle mass. Uh, and then we have the casein, which is like cottage cheese, really. Like it's a real slow digesting protein. Mm. And classically, people will take that before bed so that they can digest it through the night when they oh, sleep. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you know yeah. that? 
Uh, yeah, I just learned it from Rico. <laughs> <laughs> we learned it all from yeah, Rico today. Yeah. Um, the thing about ricotta cheese in the supermarkets, it's quite expensive. Yes, it is. Um, but you'll see just how easy it is to make. Oh, really? Right here. All right, so yeah. we're going to get a chance to teach you something yeah. a little bit more today. DIY home style. We want to keep the milk moving because okay. what happens if we don't move the milk? You will cuddle? It will burn. Oh, you will burn. Yeah. All right, Why would so it burn, Ben? Yeah. I, Why? Why, why do we What's in milk that will make it burn? Uh, facts. I'm, I'm turning the quiz Is around on you now. No. No? No. Uh, calcium? No. No. What, Olivia? You sugar? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the sugar in milk? Milk, milk, milk. There's, there's lactose in milk, lactose. which is a milk sugar. Oh, yeah. so. And that's, um, that's nature designing it to be sweet, so mm. that little babies. That's why it's red tasty, uh, right? Yeah, and little baby animals will drink it. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, while you're stirring the pot over here, Olivia, mm -hmm. what, what would you like most about uh, National Day celebration? Oh, you know, just getting together with friends and family, um, you know, watching the parade as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, that's really um, enjoyable. Yeah. yeah, and of yeah. course, while we are preparing, we're still in uh, phase two with measures in place. So remember, no more than five in your family household. Yeah and ensure that you keep uh, hygiene at its maximum point, right? Yeah. We need to toast some, um, macadamia, some macadamia nuts. nuts. Mm. Yeah, so, so we, we can put those in the pan. Aroma, right? Yeah, and mm. we'll just um, make those yummy. So we um, we got those in a, in a medium heated pan, mm -hmm. and we just move those around a little bit. We don't want them to burn. Now, how do I know yeah. that the milk is ready? You'll know when it starts to steam, and we'll get some little bubbles forming around the outside of the oh. pot. Um, okay. and, and the top will almost look like it's getting a little foamy layer on it. It's yes. very close, you can, you can actually feel the heat now. Mm. All right. Yeah, so no, we don't want to boil it, very important. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. The other thing that's important to note is this will only work with fresh milk. This oh, won't work low with- low-fat milk, no. Uh, low-fat milk, no, and UHT milk. Oh, uh, it so won't. it's only so fresh milk. It's a so, packet milk. so you need to use fresh milk. No brand. Yeah. But yeah, basically yeah. fresh milk. <laughs> yeah, you can see yeah, some little good. bubbles forming around the outside yeah. and some little bubbles in the middle. You actually so get the fragrance coming out, right? Yeah. 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 So this step, we need oh, a tablespoon. Yeah. yeah. A tablespoon? A tablespoon. A tablespoon. Okay. I need to come figure the, the difference between tablespoon and teaspoon, right? Teaspoon, tablespoon. Okay, should I turn this off? Uh, you can turn it off now, Olivia. Okay. Thank you. Also, with, once it's seamless, and when you add yep. in the vinegar, so, so yep. it's one tablespoon. We're going to go two tablespoons. Okay. What's the ratio then? The ratio is around one tablespoon to one cup. Um, oh. You can. It doesn't matter if you're okay. if you're a little uh, oh. a little different to that. And what will happen before your eyes is that oh, the milk will curdle. And oh wow! I'm oh, going to bring yeah. out the bank cam. So give me a shot again. Amazing! You can actually see how the milk the cement, you know, just basically uh, change with the additional vinegar that's inside. So the acidity in that vinegar that you loved has just split the milk now. So can I use apple cider vinegar or any other kind of vinegar or must it always be kiwi vinegar? No, you can use white vinegar. You can actually use lemon juice. Oh. Um, but the lemons in Singapore are quite sweet. Um, the Maya lemons are oh, so quite sweet. Is not Maybe strong. not quite as acidic enough. Oh. Yeah, but you can try with lemons or white vinegar or, or any vinegar really. It looks like yeah. a... Chinese Tau Hui. Yeah, it does. It does, That's actually. Right. Yeah. 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 And then all we all we got to do... Okay, just pour it in. Yeah. Okay. It's just very carefully... Okay. Filter it, right? Yeah. So, you know, Olivia, you have been away for quite some time and just been back to Singapore uh, for just about two years ago, right? Yeah. So, yeah, when right. you're overseas, do you like make your own ricotta cheese or, you know? Oh, uh, I don't... I, I This is my first time making this, actually. Yeah. It looks first quite easy, though. Yeah. But what do you miss about Singapore when you're away? And how long were you away, in fact? Yeah, so I was away about, about four years. Um, I guess I, I miss the local food. Um, Hokkien Mee. Uh, oh. I really miss my kaya butter toast as well. Yeah, oh, you mean they don't have it? Where were you then? No, they don't. They don't. Where were yeah. you? Where were you? Uh, Ohio State. Oh, oh, so Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, yeah. So this is the curds okay. or the casein. Mm -hmm. And this is the way, the lovely way look. So is there anything yeah. that you can do with the uh, water that contains the whey? Oh, this is... This is um, this is a nice drink, actually. Really? Uh, have we got a oh, glass? Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh. You like durian, eh? There you I, go. I like this durian. is like um, durian water. Really? Yeah. So you can actually drink... Is there any use for this one? Oh. Oh. So much protein in I don't in trust there. Rico very much, you know. Try. After yeah, the vinegar. It's a good drink. There's a lot of protein. Oh, it smells quite... 
Mm. It smells like yogurt. It's going to help you fill those sleeves so I'm, out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to imagine that it's, it's like lassi. Yeah, it's like yeah. a durian lassi. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what tastes like? Oh, it tastes like tofu water. <laughs> like you soak <laughs> bean <curd. laughs> No, in, tr- in truth, you just t- tip this out. It tastes disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's two drinks in a day. Oh, no? dear. Oh, it tastes so raw. Yeah, Do you, you actually drink that? No, you tip it down the sink. You never drink that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but we're going to eat this. We're going to eat the... So <laughs> right, we're going to... Um, so this is, this is quite firm now. You can leave this to drain for about half an hour at home. Mm-hmm. But if you want it kind of soft and, and a little more moist, you just drain it for five or ten minutes like we have. I'm right? distracted by the taste. Are you, are you with me? <laughs> and it's yeah. quite moldable and it, and it doesn't stick to the... Oh, it's like a little patty. It doesn't stick to the thing. Yeah, it's like a little patty. So we just kind of... Oh, so you actually just, take just down t- turn it out. I'm, I'm hoping that this dish is going to taste good because I didn't start the episode <laughs> with the good flavours today, you know? <laughs> Ah, yeah. So we can, you can kind of push it together. Mm. Well, you can do a red top of raspberry, oh. bottom white. Of the oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? All right. Okay. Now we add a little bit of honey because okay. there's no, there's this no is sweet. taste, right? Yeah, there's no sweetness in it. I assume the ricotta cheese that it is homemade will be a little bit less salty. Yeah, I didn't add any salt to this. You mm. can add salt. You can add cream to it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can use it in sweet and savory foods. So, what kind of cheese do you like? Oh yeah, so I like uh, mozzarella. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, texture. Yeah, mini texture, texture. Yeah, mini mm-hmm. texture. Yeah. Oh, is that all that we are? That is, is is that done? It's yeah, done. Yeah, and I think just with the nuts, right? Yeah, you want to put put some nuts okay. on it as well? Let me just okay. get your nuts today. Okay. Nah. Oh, do I just use my hands? Of course, you washed it. Okay. 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 That's how Perfect. we plate up like professional nice. chefs, right? Oh, lovely. Oh, that's really... This is a, this is a nice red-white colour. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. looks like our national uh, flag colour. And that's yeah. how we start off the uh, National Day Weekend Breakfast. National Day Weekend Breakfast or dessert yeah. for um, your loved ones? Yeah. yeah. The ricotta cheese is quite creamy. Um, the raspberries are quite sweet. Mm-hmm. It, the raspberries and the ricotta are quite mushy, so we add the macadamia nuts to create a contrast in texture. You get a bit of crunch with the soft. I like um, nuts. And it looks yeah. really pretty. And All it's right. red and white. So this yeah. is a nice, easy way to start off your day uh, that gives you that uh, energy booster, especially with the coming National Day weekend. And of course, for those of you who are joining us, we will be back with recipe number two right after the break.
And welcome back to What You Cooking Fast Forward. So we got some ingredients mm -hmm. on the table. Yeah, we do. So let's run through very, very quickly. We just had the first ricotta cheese with raspberry and macadamia nuts mm. uh, in the refrigerator. We're going to yep. have a National Day set meal at the end of the program. Yeah. All right, so before I take my revenge on you later, I'm going <laughs> oh, to put yeah. Olivia to the test. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, ingredients. Now. Also, first yeah. we have... Garlic. Garlic. Uh, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Mm. Eggplant. Mangosteen, enlarged. <laughs> 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 no, eggplant, eggplant, yeah. yeah. Eggplant, this one? Uh, brinjal. Not yeah, the same, yeah. eh? Eh? So, no, they're similar. different. Similar? Different colour. Went for tanning and... Both the eggplant, but different varieties. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Toothpaste? Uh, tomato paste. <laughs> right. <laughs> and this um, is? This is tomatoes as well. Okay, tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Puree, tomatoes, right? Yeah. It's a tomato yeah. puree. Um, the Italians call it passata. 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 Yeah, so it's finely pureed. And this mm. one? Olive oil. And the most mm. important for this round? Balsamic vinegar. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so I had kiwi vinegar earlier on. <laughs> and I'm going to oh. take a chance for Rico to take a beating from me. Uh. Oh, okay. okay. So you've been in Singapore for five years. You got it right for the Malayans. He was quite good. Yeah. yeah five yeah, official good, Malayans. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know whether that's going to change. <laughs> But it's National Day weekend, right? Yeah. And you have been in Singapore for quite some time, right? Yes. And you have went through uh, some of the parades on TV, yes. on programs. I'm going to give you. Yes. I'm just going to just prepare this. Yes. One. Oh, yeah. Let's put it on the ladle. All right. I'm going <laughs> to yeah. put it on the ladle so it doesn't drip. <laughs> now, what's going to happen here is... What's going to happen here, Ben? <laughs> Mike. I'm going to put you to the test. Oh. I'm going to sing a National Day song. Oh. And all you need to do is complete the sentence. And this Give is going to be easy. Huh? <laughs> if you get it right, Olivia will drink. Oh. If you get it wrong, oh. you will oh. drink. Oh. For me, I, get it wrong. Just I think you're safe. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> no problem, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. Go take a seat, have a rest. <laughs> Go make a cup of tea. <laughs> Olivia, you know the famous Singaporean National Day song, right? Called mm -hmm. Home. Oh, I love it. Whenever my favorite song. Whenever I am feeling yeah. low. Now, yeah. the chorus, do you know the first sentence? This is home, truly. Next sentence. La, truly la. Truly la, yeah. Truly la. <laughs> truly la. <laughs> truly la. <laughs> is that right? Uh, well, I know, I must be la. Okay, never mind. I know you should get it wrong one. So please Was listen it? to your National Day song. I got Bows is Bows make vinegar good for health? Oh, yeah. All yeah. Right, so is it? Good, yeah. Let's see how. He loves it. Oh, so good. <laughs> he loves it. So good, man. I also want to try it. <laughs> so good, man. <coughs> so much better than kiwi vinegar. This is not right. Yeah. It's really quite good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I could. I just caught in my throat, though. <laughs> Actually, not bad. <laughs> it's actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> just finished the bottle already. <laughs> yeah, well, we almost finished it. <laughs> okay, so that wasn't... But that's yeah. a fun game. Mm. Do you have any more questions? No, no I decided that I don't <laughs> want to try anymore. And revenge is out of the picture. <laughs> now, um, so how, do we, how are we going to create this dish? What's the name of this, this uh, recipe? Uh, the classic name is um, eggplant parmigiana or melanzana parmigiana. Melanzana is the Italian name for eggplant. So it's a brinjal dish. Yeah. Okay. Basically, um, just think fried eggplants, olive oil, tomato, melted mozzarella, oh. a beautiful sauce, All a right. really nice little vegetarian starter. Yeah. This is my favorite food. All right. Yeah, there's two different types of um, eggplant here. I can see you. This is the Asian one. This right. is the European one. All right. Yeah. This is her. And that is Yeah, it looks, yeah. looks yeah. the same, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so are we going to cut it up now? Yeah, we're going to, um, well, we're going to get our sauce on the go first. Okay. Because we want that to cook a little bit. So all we need to do is um, heat on the pot. All right. A bit of olive oil. We're going to put some diced garlic in there and just fry that off for a minute. And then we're just going to add the, add the passata. All the work's been done for us here. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to heat it up and let it get the flavors going. All right. Right. Let's dive in. How and then we can prepare the eggplant. Meat. Yeah. Meat. Uh, mid fire, mid, mid yeah, mid fire, I think is okay. nice. Yeah, so let's put it to six. We don't yeah. want to burn the garlic, mm. all right? So we got a little bit of olive oil in the in the pot, all right? Yeah, okay. and the garlic in, the garlic yeah, in. and the garlic in. Okay, I love watching garlic fry, 
like it, it kind of pops nice around and, and yeah and then it starts to smell okay i want to bring the heat higher mm. so that you get it heated faster and then we're going to bring okay. the heat down so you get to hear that little popping that uh rico is talking uh, yeah about. and you can see the little um uh, you oh, you can, oh it's talking to us yeah isn't it Listen. almost immediate isn't it yeah so if, if the heat ever gets away on you, all, all you do is just lift the pot up mm. off the heat. Yeah. We can just add our passata. Oh, that's simple. So you just yep. have it all Now in. just be careful because we don't want to splash. About oh. half a bottle is nice. You can hear the sound. It's like, oh. Yeah. Now, do you it's know... It's pump up of cooking, isn't it? Yeah. It's the music to your ears. Yeah. When yeah. Italians make a sauce, they will let it bubble away for about two hours. Oh. And it and it just really makes it nice and rich. And oh. they would probably add a little bit of water as well to let it mm -hmm. kind of reduce down. Yes. But this is chop chop. We don't have two hours. Yeah, so we do it a fast one like this. All right. And how long right? will it take? That will take around about two to three minutes? Twenty minutes. Twenty oh. minutes. Oh, yeah. oh sorry, it's the okay. soil. So we can just let that yeah. tick away now while we're doing our eggplant and then we'll be all ready at the same time. And okay. now we just want to slice up our eggplant. Okay. And we okay. Just, we Let's put your cutting skills to the test. Huh? And we can just fry that up. Yeah. I mean... Oh, look how she's tucked her fingers away already. Yeah. That's nice, so isn't How it? many slices would you like, Rico? Uh, should, should we go... Um, Seven? We'll go two, two of this one and we'll go four with this one because okay. this one's my favourite. First, you can actually recognise the colour difference, right? Besides the outer tone, the inner tone, mm. and you can see the seed. Radiation. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, this is an eggplant. This is an eggplant. And this is a brinjal. It, it's still an eggplant. It's an Asian eggplant. We call it a brinjal. <laughs> Here in Singapore, we call it a brinjal. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> na, na, na. All right. Knowledge okay. time. Now look, our sauce is starting to spatter everywhere, so I've just put a lid on it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Also, that to avoid it from splattering, yeah. right? So now, all we want to do is um, a little olive oil in the pan. Okay. okay. So and we're just going to put all our little eggplant, eggplant discs. Let's bring it to and nine first so it heats up really fast. And then we bring down the heat again. Okay, let's do this. So, olive oil yeah. is this good. That's fine. Good? Okay. I like mm. brinjals and eggplant yeah. too. Just that I don't know that eggplant Ooh, and brinjal is, is the same. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now we can turn it. We okay. can actually probably turn it down. Turn yeah. it down. Yeah. yeah to <laughs> so okay. um, now that we have the oil in, well, are we going to place the eggplants? In? Yes, please. Yeah, right. we just need to cook those off okay. now. So I was just wondering what nutritional value eggplants have, Rico. Hmm. Um, I have no idea. No idea. And how about Olivia? Yeah. So um, it's pretty good source of folate. Um, folate. Po yeah. Oh. Folate. Um, oh. Potassium. Um, vitamin K as well. So a lot of fiber as well. So what's folate good for? Uh, red blood cells formation. Oh, um, yeah. So for those of you who are slightly anemic, it's a good uh, sub, uh, vegetable they sauce for you, yeah, right? They complement yeah. each other. Complements yeah. each other. Folate, folate, yeah. yeah. yeah not that it's medically, you know, we are not yeah. medical trained, but mm. since it's good for red blood cells, I assume it's good for those of you who are a little yeah. bit more busy half the time, mm. isn't it? Yeah. It's a really <laughs> important one for, <laughs> um, for mums when they're having babies oh, as well. Oh, yeah. it's a good sauce for. Mm. Oh. We just want to brown off yeah. each side. Mm. Yeah. So it's like eggplant in, cheese in, then possibly maybe vinegar for what to drink again. Oh, so we go um, in these. We go. Oh, we didn't put the balsamic in. No, hey, is your balsamic oh, vinegar? We could do that. We could do that in a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. a little splash. And then so we'll flip these over. Okay. Mm. Fry the other side, and then we're going to put a little bit of this on each one, okay. and then a little bit of cheese, and then we're going to stack them up. Yeah. Oh, and so then we're going to put the like lid on, and we're just going to let them finish. It's off. Like a Eggplant lasagna. Yeah, like yeah, like a little snack. Yeah. 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 So it's okay. proven to be hot, bro. Yeah, it's quite warm in there, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So we okay. could put a little bit of oil on this before we turn it. Okay. It's okay. We splash it on there. Okay. Ah. We can flip those over now and give them a nice toy. bit of time on the other side. And it's starting to brown up a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Let me give you a spoon. So they hard little, some hard, little hard little guys to grab, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to let my little finger rest. <laughs> Alright, so we are just flipping it around to get that mm. nice golden brown colour. Mm. And I've got a little bit of tomato paste here. It's so cute, I haven't seen this, this before. This is like your toothpaste. Um, yeah, I've seen it before, I've never mm. used it though. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so actually cute. Yeah. Can you really imagine cheap putting here? this at home and letting them use it as toothpaste to prank your friend? It's paint. Yeah. <laughs> little, a little dot on each one. Mm -hmm. And we can just smear that. Smear okay, that across. With a spoon? With a spoon? Yeah, that'd be nice on the back of a spoon. Okay. Mm. So we are basically browning the eggplant or brinjal. 
and then we're gonna have this little nice coating of uh, tomato paste and it looks like our sauce is almost ready you yeah, could save that now actually the sauce yeah it looks amazing <laughs> Um, I think we need to put a little balsamic vinegar. You, okay, so we're going to have okay. so much. So we're going to have okay. some balsamic vinegar. Just a vinegar. splash in the sauce. And not just a splash, not too much? Nah, not too much because it's quite strong. Mm -hmm. But it will just um, sweeten it up a little bit. All right. Yeah. And so that sauce is done now. So that can just sit there until we so finish So this is actually off. a fully vegetarian style dish. If yeah, I am a uh, meat eater, is there any way I can include different types of like chicken or fish? Yeah, you could actually use a mince, a mince, minced uh, beef mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, you could do that. So Fry that off and then stack it up. Ah, yeah. Okay. And now, Olivia, all we need yep. to do is put a pinch of cheese okay. um, on each one. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And that's mozzarella cheese, so that'll melt pretty quick. Okay. And now, what we can do is make little stacks. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. And the cheese will then fuse them together. Yeah, oh. and we can we can chase it around the pan. You want a spatula? That's it, like that. Okay. I've got it. Okay. And we can even turn that heat down a little bit more now. Okay. Maybe down to a two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're just going to put the lid on. And now I've just turned this into an oven. All right. Ah. So if we want to do a little bit quicker, traditionally we would just bake this off in an oven. Um, Which is what you always do with big yeah. dogs, right? Yeah, yeah but, right. but you yeah. can actually use your pan intelligently like an oven if you just cover it. Mm. Yeah, just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. this will only need another three or four minutes, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we can plate it up, serve it with our sauce. You'll love it. Yep. All right, so we're going to add more cheese? Well, you know, I know that you like cheese. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, so I'm looking after you. Because oh, you have a sore finger and I whipped you with a tea towel last week. I know, right. Then you give me um, then I just kiwi gave you, vinegar yeah. and some weird way water. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very tortured, you know. you know, when I'm beside Dr. Rico. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Olivia, let's have a look. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I'm all ready for this. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Hey, the additional oh. cheese was a good one. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. Make it look super yeah. nice. Come, I will help you oh, handle the, you. The, the, okay. the tray. So, all right. okay. Let's plate it up. Really nice. I can imagine yeah. stacking six pieces together and have like the super size. I can imagine yeah, you doing that, right, yeah. funnily enough. Yeah, so we just put a little, oh, a little splash cool. there. Each one just gets a little bit. Nice. Let it run off. I know which one is mine already. Right. Yeah, nice. Um, there's our Brinjor Parmigiana stacks. Dun, dun, dun. Looks like burgers, right? Red yeah, and white. Yeah, that's great. It's right. awesome. Again, nice red and white color for yeah. the uh, you know, National Day weekend. We're going to plate it aside and then enjoy the whole set of meal oh, yeah. uh, just before we end the program. I've got a really cute third little recipe thing that can go with that. Ah, yeah. gorgeous. So, now yeah. that we have two recipes ready, uh, we're going to take a short break and join you right back once again in a short moment's time on What You Cooking. Fast forward, see ya.
to what you're cooking fast forward recipe number three. So you, Rico just sent me out to the garden, picked up some nice greens, and uh, this is spinach. Really, meh? Kailan. What were you doing before we started the camera? You were throwing that around in the air, singing. Sis, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, round two. Uh huh. The song one. Finish my words. I'll sing your song. Okay. And and if you can't finish it, there might be a consequence. Again. But you, you probably know. How about Olivia? Okay, I, I'll I rate do, you because you're a bit of a musician. That you, you sing? Okay. National Day song? Let's have a think. National Day song, right? Okay, ready? Ready. Rasa sayang hey, rasa sayang sayang hey. Wow. Rasa sayang hey, rasa sayang hey, hey. Ina boda jau, rasa sayang sayang hey. I think my words are all wrong. Lah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, there are five stars arising. I have no idea. <laughs> Out no of idea. the stormy sea. <laughs> so she also kenal lah. Rasa <laughs> <laughs> sayang samoa. I sayang you lagi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Semua orang cepat-cepat lagi yang sini dua orang. Oh. Sayang, sayang sikit. It's all on now. Come, let's do it. All right, let's do it, let's do it. Uh, cider star, uh, vinegar star. There you are, Olivia. Okay. You have Perfect. that one. Thank you. How come I got the most? <laughs> Cheers. It's good for health, right? It's good for something. Oh! Woo! Rasa sayang, hey! He got the tune wrong, that's why he should drink. Rasa sayang, hey! Okay. Do you like it? Oh, it's... um. She was no problem. <laughs> she has no reaction. Nah. Botox too much. Strong. <laughs> too much Botox? No, I haven't. <laughs> I'm just joking. I've got a really cute, oh. a really <laughs> cute little um, finish to our show today. Okay. Because it's National Day. We'll do a nice little National Day flower. Uh, right? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So that's why you got me out there to, yeah. to get this. I'm going to wash my hands once again. Since wash your hands. What's going to be happening for recipe okay. number three? I'll show you the first one. Okay. And then, um, and then you two can have a little play. It's like an arts and crafts it's session. Like Just get a little cherry tomato. And you want to put a little cross in it at the top. Go about three quarters of the way down. All right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then at the bottom, just put the knife in a little bit and just turn it to make a little hole. Okay. Yeah, and right. then we just get a stalk of our... Oh, that's interesting. Of yeah. our mm. spinach. And we oh, get a little wow. cherry tomato. Uh, sorry, a cherry mozzarella. And just cut it in half, because it's a bit big otherwise. All right, and then you can see that we can kind of open this up like a flower. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And then we get a little mozzarella, oh. and we put it in the middle. And then we get a little spinach. Oh, that's so... And that's we so put it, <laughs> yeah. we put it in the bottom. Wow. And there's oh, a little... Nice. A little flower for you, Ben, <laughs> for me, for National Day. So how do I eat this? Careful. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. There you go. So have a go, and we, okay. we make a couple to put on the plate uh, to accompany our meal at the end. All right, so while, you, while we are making the flower, we're going to have you bring up the dishes that we completed. Okay, sounds good. And okay. um, let's get going. Okay. So about three quarters of the way down, a little cross oh, at the top. If mum and, mum and dad can supervise the knife at home, this is a nice little one for children as well. Little hole at the bottom, Ben. Not too big. Have a mozzarella. This is little fun craft sessions for the little one out there. Yeah. Stop it right in. Stop it in. I put the round round side down first. Yeah, you've got it. That's good. Oh, yeah, this, you got this it. Way this way down? Yeah, that's okay. it. Like this, and it kind of okay. holds it out. That's nice. Okay. All right, then we have... And um, then you put your little stalk at the bottom. Uh -huh. Now, you've got to be a little careful with this bit. Ta -da. Yeah, nice. And then you can just lie it down on the, on the plate. Just like nature. Oh, all different. Very nice. Okay. Lovely. So now we have right. our nice little flower, floral mozzarella yeah. spinach stock. Yeah. So it's a good way to, to make use of spinach stock, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
three ways of enjoying a fantabulous red white national day theme celebration meal anything you want to say to uh, the viewers when it comes to national day and any well wishes for the nation yeah so happy birthday singapore um hope you guys are having a good time at home with your loved ones watching the parade um yeah stay safe and of course rico anything you want to say to the singaporeans right here happy 55th birthday singapore beautiful people so happy to be here celebrating with everybody majula singapore and of course for me always remember to stay safe play it safe and of course enjoy our national celebration we have our recorded cheese with raspberry and uh, roasted macadamia sure do our uh, brinjos stacked up red white raspberry <laughs> and uh, what's the name of this <laughs> i don't think we call it that but <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't. yeah our brinjol parmigiana stack okay yeah. right. brinjol stack <laughs> And <laughs> our nice, easy to make spinach style tomato uh, mozzarella. I got a sore stomach from laughing today, man. <laughs> so, with that, we're going to dive in for this fantabulous meal to all of you watching. What's your cooking? Fast forward today at the count of three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy National, National Day, Day Singapore! Singapore! Yay!